We're Ben, Emily and Alan. We usually live on our narrowboat home, travelling the UK canals and rivers, but we've swapped the boat for our tiny camper van and are on a road trip through Spain and Portugal. We've just arrived by ferry, so join us for the adventure. And I think that combined with severe lack of sleep is kind of meant that Emily's struggling a bit today. We're in Spain. Well, that felt like quite the journey, didn't it? So now all the lights have gone off, we've got a problem with the electrics. Is the van going to start? Can you check that? Someone needs this coffee. It's going to be all right. Just got to wiggle the wires. Doesn't seem right. right well, I need a screwdriver. This thing? It's going to take me about 20 minutes with this. Okay. Actually, yeah, I can see, look, that's, that's come off. That's like lifted off. Just as a disclaimer, I did tighten that on really nice and sexy sweet, so I don't know why it's come up that loose. You got your coffee? I've not made that yet. You look tired. I am. I think that's just made me realise how how tired I am actually. Incredibly Thank you. hot. Hopefully. Is your coffee? Am I driving? You're driving. I think it's me driving. <laughs> this is me, isn't it? Yeah. Every other time I've ever got a ferry, I've always got it to, uh, to Calais or to Dunkirk. It's quite a novelty to just end up in Spain and there's like mountains and big stony cliffs and stuff. We're straight in it. First diesel stop. They do it for you here in Spain. Quick break. Don't know where we are. Just in this tiny little town. Some bins. Beans on toast then. Opted for a sausage and mayo sandwich instead of beans on toast. A bit faster. You're not going to like this. What? Put the uh, this kettle still on the hob. Oh, Benny, what? It's like <laughs> teetering on the edge. The sun's come out! First taste of Spanish sun, honey. It's amazing. Got changed to something a bit more appropriate. <laughs> Slightly <laughs> bright. Down through the border. Your turn. That's right, I'm still wearing the same t-shirt. <laughs> I haven't got changed like Benny yet. We're gonna get to a place called Duenas, where I think there's quite a nice town to look at. Distant castle. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this, but we just drove over a canal. Too fast to film it. And there was even a lock there. What is that? What's going on? It's like some sort of mad... It's a stick in the wind. Emily thought it was a hopping lizard. Well, yeah, I wondered what it was. Anyway, how crazy is that? It didn't have... A, it wasn't a lock. It was like a sluice gate thing, but it had the same... Windy guy. And this Irish buskin traveller guy that we just met in the ferry while we were waiting to get in the van, he said that you can get canals all the way down to the Mediterranean or something, which I'm not sure I believe, but... Who knew that? Yeah, but let's do some investigating. So we're just coming off the main road to stop at this place called Duenas. It's been recommended by my dad. I don't actually know what's here to be honest. He said it's worth going to see, so that's what we're doing now. It's just like Nantwich. Icy wind. It's sunny, but it's absolutely freezing.
Alan? Alan? Oh my god, you've come all this way. Come on then. Come on then. Good girl. Hi. You found the Spanish Alan. Oh, should have brought pate. I meant to bring the spare pate. Your, your friend Alan is much chunkier than you. Come on then. Come on, everybody. Oh my god. The boat's that way. We'll send your regards to Alan, don't you worry. So this town is called Duenas, which is on the route of the Castilla, Castilla Canal, which is supposed to be a really interesting route to visit and to explore. So thanks Dave for that tip. We'll go and have a look at the canal itself in a minute. I don't know if these are houses or storage or what, but there's a lot of them on this hill. And they've got their chimneys that stick out. It's pretty cool. So it's the Las Bodegas de Duenas. So but bodegas are where they store wine, I think. Is it store wine? So it's a bit like a country or Okay, so we found the canal and Benny's found a lock. I had no idea that we would find this in Spain. Check it out. Clearly that's not a lock. So we're really confused what the canal's actually for. It's not like you could get boats down there, so. But it's really, it's, it's really beautiful. Maybe we can find out, but it, it might just be that it's to move water about. It must be, because you can't get boats down there. Yeah. Anyway, we're quite happy we found a canal. <laughs> Back on the road. Yeah. We're going to... Best carry on. We're going to try and get to Salamanca and try and find somewhere to park up there. So I've quickly looked up the Castilla Canal's history. Uh, so just briefly, it was constructed in the later part of the 18th century, but there's only a few sections of it now which are navigable. So it is navigable in some places, but it does still irrigate 48 municipalities. So I'm guessing that's like areas. It's a canal in the north of Spain, so yeah, did not know that. Stork's nest. Hopefully, we'll see a stork. We've got a little river. We've got some more hens, so we can feel at home and a duck. We had to get. I wouldn't come anywhere that didn't have more hens. Or water, basically. as if we've been. This is our pet for the next night. There he is. Oh, I can't believe that. That is where all the sticks went. Did you hear him making that noise then? Yeah. So this is our park up for the night. Pretty good. We've got a lake, we've got water, we've got bins, and a stalk. Happy? It's, it's brilliant, yeah. Shall we sort the van out at last? It's time to sort this out because we still haven't done it since. <laughs> I say we just topple on top of that pile. What, just get on there? Yeah, Sleep on that? Out, yeah. Right, yeah. So we haven't ever had a cover on our mattress and it's new foam and it's getting really like ripped and knackered. So we need to try and cover it. <laughs> I know you might say this is not the ideal time to do that, but um, I bought two single duvet covers as a quick resort to this and what we're going to do is we're going to cut the bed in half with this knife and then put each half 
in one of these new single duvet covers because one of the problems is, apart from it getting a bit horrible, it's really grippy and every time you want to move the bed in and out it's just a nightmare. It just sticks to the wall and it's really hard. What is going on here? And that's how you get from the front to the back without touching the floor outside. <laughs> yeah, we're having a major sort out here. Um, so with the duvet covers on the mattress, it will mean that it can slide up and down properly when, it wants, when we want it to be a sofa or when we want it to be a bed. Gone all dark now because it's... Uh, oh, you shut the door. Um, right, so... This should be silly. So Benny's going to mark on with his makeshift ruler. Can we do that then? Yeah. We don't want it half and half because when the bed is away, it doesn't put away to half, if that makes sense. Right, so we figured out that the, that the boat... The, We're not we, in the boat. I know. We've figured out that the bed, the van, oh my god, isn't straight. We also know that this is not the right knife to do this with. But, <laughs> this is what we've got! Oh, it's incredibly sharp. Try and... Oh. Oh. There's nothing under there, is there? I think considering the circumstances, that's a pretty good drop. <laughs> I'm going to flip a lay-by in the middle of Spain with a kitchen <laughs> You may be asking why we did not do this before we left. Well, I think this is this is a great knife to do it with actually. Well, that worked quite well, really. Yeah. It's a bit of a mess, but it really could have been worse. I think. Yeah, once it's, it's really straight, actually. Let's just hope we've done it right, Benny, because there ain't no going back now. We did it. Yes, we did. <laughs> so now it's all covered, and the double duvet's fitted perfectly for length. Couldn't believe that. Look at that. There's just bits of foam everywhere. We've had a bit of a sort out, but I'm really, really flagging now after having about four hours sleep over the last two days and being pretty ill and not eating properly. So we're gonna make some dinner now and then maybe we'll carry on tidying afterwards. But I think it's gonna be an early night. Dinner time. Pretty handy. Got bins. We are going to wash the back window. Just realised, does this not come up? Oh, it's hot, hot. Okay, yeah, because it's already started melting a bit. That's such a silly. Super simple dinner. Sweet corn, cannellini beans. A very cheat, cheating pasta sauce. Because we're tired. And this is not the easiest van to cook in. How are you feeling? Cozy and tired. Yeah, it's gonna worn out. It's a nice space, though, isn't it? To start. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely here. Look. There's even some ducks in there. Pretty good for a first park up. Yeah, it's good, isn't it? I think we've been pretty lucky. Oh yeah. I'm excited about this. I don't know, this is going to be so sloppy on this plate, but the bowls are dirty. Hope you're hungry, you've done a lot of pasta. And there's a lot of sauce. <laughs> Considering we haven't got any fresh veg, because it's a Sunday and there doesn't seem to be any shops open, which I kind of knew. So this is what you got, okay? <laughs> Looks good, thank you. I've got some cheese. And this plate had a bit of an accident. Yeah, I... And all my sauce is just going to yeah. dribble. Straight onto my well, pajamas. It, it was a bit of a smaller portion for me, and I was so hungry, I just took a bite out of the plate. <gasps> <laughs> oh, you're, you're funny. Cutlery. Have we got any? We've got three knives. <laughs> no, so I definitely not. packed some. I definitely packed some, but of that's course. all there is. I'm crying out loud. <laughs> that, there's an old toothbrush, a pair of scissors, nah. and two high quality bottle openers. 
but I can't find any forks. Right, I'm eating mine with a corkscrew. Oh, this spoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got two forks. All right, all good. I don't then. know if that's clean or right. Right. Okay, all right, okay. It tastes really weird. Why? I don't know. Probably because it's a cheap jar of sauce. This is like the first proper meal we've eaten in like two days. Just been eating sandwiches on the boat. Very herby. Is it all right? Yeah, it's all right. It's good, it's great. <laughs> you don't have to lie. I'm not lying. It's good I've only had one mouthful. <laughs> I don't even know yet. Okay, right. We're going to eat and then sleep. We just fell asleep, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> tired. Okay, it's like half six. I'm going to bed. I'm so tired. It's a nice sunset out there, but I can't do it. I can't get out. I'm gonna make the bed. You can. I'm going to sleep now. Night. Benny's gone to do the washing up. There's a handy tap here. Tap doesn't work. Tap doesn't work. <sighs> I have that bottle. I'll do what, what I can with that. That's annoying. Just a preliminary rinse will be better than nothing, won't it? I'm gonna have to shut the door, it's really chilly now. There's an incredible sunset and moonrise. Screen's frozen and I can't open the side door because it's frozen solid. We're pretty warm, we've got the diesel heater on and now it's getting really toasty in here. It says it got to minus four last night. Are you sure you've unlocked it? Yeah. Oh dear. Oh. Great view out. <laughs> it's still frozen. It's not really working because it's just ice. I reckon that water might be frozen, you know. That lake thing. Really? Yeah. Maybe it's not frozen the moorhead in it. What? Well, the moorheads aren't all frozen in it. <laughs> do you think it is frozen? Or do you think it's just broken? <laughs> Who knows? I can't, it's like completely... One minute. All oh, right. Okay. Oh, it's just locked. I mean, it's <laughs> freezing out there. It's very pretty. Do you sleep all right? Yes, thank you. Better than the ferry. Ah, oh, so good to have a bed back, isn't it? Yeah. So that's some. It was warm under the covers. Cold outside. Let the light in. It'll defrosted. Look at what. Well, the water tap here doesn't work, but as we drove in, I saw there was like a fountain, like a village fountain. So I'm going to go find that and fill these up. We need more drinking water, but this will be used for washing. It's quite eerie. It's like a ghost town. There's no one around. There's no cars. It's really weird. I can't remember which way. Nope, this is definitely not the right way. <sighs> it's so cold. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. Well, that was a failure. I think I know which way I've got to go now. I'm going to go out again, but with gloves this time. See you in a minute, Benny. Just noticed loads of little birds living in this stork's nest. Can you see them there, look? Little ones. And the big one on top. But he's not back, is she? And it froze a little bit, the lagoon. Hello there, little chicken. Right, fountain. I'm getting distracted by chickens. Okay, I can see the fountain. Hello. 
Doesn't work. Water mission failed. Doesn't work. We're off. Yes, let's go. What's the plan for today? Today we drive. We're going to go to Carrefour first, aren't we? Yeah, first we need to go. Get, get water, some water and shopping, and maybe go to Salamanca, but we're not sure yet, are we? No. What a great spot, anyway. Shame about the water, but. We might go where it's just a bit warmer. Yeah, because that was a bit chilly last night, wasn't where it? Where we go in, in Portugal, it's, it's like five degrees warmer at night or something. Yeah. Careful, <laughs> something's happened. <laughs> oh, your razor's in the tea. Right, I might bring it with me so we can do a better shave in the Careful toilets because it's. Oh, I got the tea yeah, coming out of tea, me. I'll wash it. They weren't lying when they said it was a hypermarket, it's humongous. One. All those legs? No! Yeah, let's get one of these and we can refill that. It's, it's a Rubus Organic. iced tea. We love Rubus. I thought the van had changed shape then. How's that boss? Is it good? Yeah, it's really good. Nice. Mm. I love these. That would be great to live in. <laughs> what do you think, Benny? Yeah, I'm up for it. We've got our strange sweet spinach pastries here from Carrefour. How is it? Pretty good. It's pretty good. So we've decided not to go into Salamanca because we've got other things that we want to be doing while we're here. And we want to do those first. Go and visit a friend. And then what time we have left after that we're thinking we'd rather go down to the south of Portugal and, and get some warm. That's kind of what's important to us. Yeah, so that's the plan. So we're going to be in Portugal pretty soon, aren't we? In like an hour. We're in Portugal! I wonder where that leads. This is Castello Bomb, recommended to us yet again by Dave, <laughs> the Spanish Portuguese veteran. I have been here before. And Emily. We haven't seen one person yet. See the van. Quiet place. Just dogs and pigeons. We found a fountain. Let's see if it works. Right. I'll give up on this. Don't work. In some of this cafe's open, it's a really nice spot by the river. They've just stopped off for a minute to have a look. Here's a tour guide. Hello. Oh no. This dog's like, what are you doing? Human, what are you doing?
Are you tempted to go in? Yeah. <laughs> Is it a bit cold? It's too cold. You were going to go in and have a wash, weren't you? Glamping. Glamping That's a head number. Have a good time, buddy. Perfect play. I won't show you below the camera here. <laughs> Fully gone nuds. We're in your area now. This is what you've got to do. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Again. You'll notice that I haven't gone in, everybody. I'm still fully dressed in my coat. <laughs> See you later. See you bye. Goodness. Yeah, he is going to fit under it. That's, um... It's close. We just swung round the corner in the van and found this awesome view and even some swings. So we found a place to camp down by by this lake that we saw from far away now that we've got nearer to it. This is incredible, we've got our own beach. Seems to be anyone else around. Well, I feel a bit and look a bit windswept. Oh my goodness. But um, yeah, I'm going to have a little wash in here in a minute. Get the kettle on. We might put the diesel heater on, yeah? I think that's a great it's idea. It's a bit chilly. How great is that view from the window? Crikey. Oh dear. We did some good shopping, got some good bits and lots of water. So yeah, we're set up now. We're having curry tonight. Yeah, it's curry night tonight. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be good. We've had our curry. I've had a wash and a hair wash. And now we're getting all cosy in bed, so we'll see you in the morning. Good morning, detective. Good morning. How you doing? Okay, yeah. Slept well? Very good, yeah. Yeah, I had a great sleep. Finally feeling normal after that very madness. Should we try and get a cabin for the way back? Maybe. Look at this morning view. It's very beautiful. Isn't that insane? We really need to find some signal because we need to contact our friend. So we're going to head off from here now after we've had some breakfast and go and find some signal somewhere. But it is amazing and I wish we could stay here forever, but we must go on. We're leaving now. The lake, which is called Mia Moa, we found out that was incredible such a beautiful place yeah you could stay there for a while imagine going there in june oh, wow you could just swim all day incredible now we're in a town called castella branco now we've got signal we know that our friend is busy until Friday, so we've got the we've got the whole week to just sort of explore, really. Lunchtime. Yeah, we've got 
the uh, good old emergency baked beans and sausages. So we've just parked up in Castello Branco, we've just found somewhere to quickly pull over. live somewhere where the streets are lined with orange trees. My uh, little washing up podium over here, i.e. the toilet. It's fine. It's quite good in Europe because there's little points where you can refill your water and empty the toilet and get rid of rubbish and stuff, especially for campers. And then we're going to have washers here. Yeah. <laughs> so then it's a shower room. So it's, it's you just... You can get everything yeah. in here. It, yeah. It's brilliant. I really like it. It's the smallest van I've ever had, but it works. So we had a, a nice night last night with Benny's friend and we went out for a meal and stuff in the town, uh, Penamacore, which is where he lives. He showed us to a really nice big car park that was really flat for us to sleep in. But then at half past five in the morning, it started raining really, really heavily. And this happened. Um. <laughs> oh my God, it's, it's raining. coming in there, Benny. It turns it's out coming in there. we've got a leak. Oh wow. Uh, I need another thing. Okay. Okay, so we're moving the van to a slope so the water stops pooling. We know where the leak is. Anyway, yeah, we best do this soon because this is getting full. Move to a slight slope. Right? Yeah, but if you just reverse, I think it will. It's five o'clock in the morning. Has that helped? Yeah, it's stopped. They say when it rains in Portugal, it pours. That's true. It's true. I say that's true. Wait a sec. You got it? Yeah. Could use this for the pasta later. Um, yeah. Could save it. Right. Filtered through a car. Better fix it. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we should blooming silicon that thing before we went. It's fine. What do you mean? So glad my bag is waterproof because that was just dripping straight onto my bag, and that's got my laptop in it. That's uh. Oh dear, and onto the camera bag, but that's waterproof as well. Just hope it didn't get into the fridge too much. Okay, stop now, because we're on a slope and it's like running off instead of pouring in. Stop. <laughs> I like it. You're going to go out and put a thing on it, aren't you? Yeah. By thing, I mean plastic bag with a hairband. Just a nice little half five in the morning, soggy outing. Thank you. It hasn't got far to go. We've got the diesel heater on. But it's just annoying because it's probably like a five minute job with a filler. I know, why didn't we do it before we left? Why? Why? why so we've but had a bit of a soggy 24 hours. <laughs> but we're so powering through. Now, we're but the okay. diesel heat, yeah, we're okay, the diesel heater's on. It's much warmer now. It hasn't been cold at night really, so we're all good. Next week, the adventure continues as we head west to find some warmer weather and to explore the beautiful town of Obidos on Portugal's west coast. Thanks for watching and thanks to all of our patrons and to everyone who bought us a coffee. See you next week. Bye. Mm -hmm.